quick review. Let's fucking go. I'm gonna say it. Chicken Little is better than fucking Toy Story. Toy Story is for betas. Chicken Little is for the chads. Chicken Little chads, where you at? It's one of the few good, decent Disney movies. Fucking love this movie. The animation is colorful and full of life, and the fast-paced, workaday world aura of the animated environment is a good reflection of the modern American society. While chads like me appreciate the major motion picture for its interesting examination of society, betas bitch and bark that the film is too mean-spirited. Fuck off. Society is mean-spirited. I'm a proud American, and I will acknowledge that American society is filled with an asshole culture, and I'm no exception. When that drive through employee forgets my napkins, I should reflect it's not a big deal, and maybe that employee has a hard life, but that 10 seconds of me realizing I don't have my napkins, um, it's filled with thoughts like, God fucking damn it, stupid whore! Because I'm an asshole living in an asshole society. It's okay to acknowledge our competitive, vain culture once in a while, okay? Saying this movie is mean-spirited is ignorant because it doesn't promote a mean-spirited message. To overcome the mindset, you must acknowledge the mindset. If there was nothing cruel or mean in the movie, then there would be nothing to make a stance against. Chicken Little isn't the one to learn the lesson at the end. His dad in town learns to appreciate uh, his traits, his concern for his fellow people, and his intellectual ways to solve problems. Chicken Little represents the ignored and overlooked intellectual of post-World War II America. The voice of concern for many issues regarding many things ranging from environmental issues, human rights, mental health, debt, and many more, only to get those points drowned out by the glamorization of anti-intellectualism. Chicken Little's rival, Foxy Loxy, represents that arrogant and simplistic worldview that only dehumanizes and devalues concerns. And it's her arrogance that backfires on her when she thinks she can defeat the enemy with no real plan or grounded approach. She got vaporized by her simplistic thinking. Chicken Little is the hero that saves the world due to his complex thinking and approach. He has to understand the question, what is something that makes the soul mad? One of those things is loss. By using strength, courage, and logical thinking as opposed to just brute arrogance, Chicken Little finally gets the respect from his father and the city. Chicken Little is an underrated masterpiece that honestly needs to be seen by all, especially at this moment of history. 2020 is here and we did not listen to Chicken Little. Fires and hurricanes that got large due to environmental problems is a ripple effect of us ignoring people who actually studied this stuff for decades. Agree or disagree with the way protesters are handling this, but this is a ripple effect of decades of officers and prosecutors having large misconduct, not caring about the bigger picture. I'm not even an ACAB person, but I can at least acknowledge this is the ripple effect of no serious reform. Hell, even that fucking schizophrenic guy jerking off in the middle of Panda Express is a ripple effect of defunding mental health. Also, making him go to war at 19 probably did not help either. That in itself is also a ripple effect. Society is filled with ripple effects and we have to listen to the ones who care about the future than those who scoff at it. Also, that fucking chicken little game on the GameCube was fucking fun. I fucking love that game.